Karlsruhe in southern Germany seems to be a placid old city, the site of a former royal residence. But civil engineer Moritz Urban says Karlsruhe could be rattled. We're in the Rhine Rift Valley, meaning there's a risk of earthquakes. And if you look at the inner cities and the business districts, the building's transverse walls have been removed to open up retail and office floor space. In a worst-case scenario, supporting walls could give way in buildings like this. Civil engineers at the Karlsruhe Institute of Technology have now developed a new system that will help stabilize these walls. And they've already tested it in Italy. We couldn't wreck it, so it was a good result. They also had surprising results in other experiments. The wall on the left is not reinforced. On the right, it has been strengthened. The advantage of the system is that you can take a destroyed or damaged building and restructure it. Textile fiber mats help the walls retain their shape, both when they have already cracked or as a preventive measure. But how are they installed? It's simple. You roll them out, then they're embedded. The mortar is normally still wet and you rub it in. The wet mortar comes through these pores and it's smoothed out, coated, and holds quite well. Then a final layer is applied and the whole thing is covered. Finished walls can also be reinforced in this way. Here I apply a special adhesive over this surface and there's another type of textile. It looks like wallpaper. You embed the whole thing in adhesive, paint over it, and there you have it. You don't have to knock off any plaster and there's no mess. It's a really clean solution. The fiberglass and synthetic fibers of the miracle material run horizontally, vertically and diagonally, making them strong and flexible at the same time. But the engineers in Karlsruhe still aren't satisfied. They're devising a new test for less expensive materials and mortar for the mats. The question is how well the new blend of materials will hold. Later there will be transverse cracks in it, and these fibers bridge those gaps, regardless of the origin of the crack and the direction it takes. Here we've probably got a horizontal crack, and here they cross. And the fibers bridge them and significantly contribute to the load-bearing capacity of the walls. The engineers say they're convinced the invention could make the world a little bit safer in an earthquake. First of all, we've got to make people aware that here in Karlsruhe, we're specializing in reinforcing old buildings. Then, step by step, we'll move into Turkey, where we've already done tests, and maybe India. Then we'll work on infrastructure projects, schools, hospitals, and so on, making buildings safer all over the world. The earthquakes that strike Karlsruhe are small, but they're regular enough to provide the perfect testing ground for the new material.